Assalamu alaikum, my beloved students, how are you? Hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. Here I am Lokmanashan, Assistant Teacher of English, National Ideal English Barsan School, Deship. Now I am going to conduct an English literature class for the students of class 4. Our today's topic has been taken from your suggestion, Reardance. In your exam, some random words will be given. You have to arrange the words into sentence. The sentence should be meaningful and grammatically accurate. So let's have a look how we can change the sentence, uh, so how we can arrange the words into sentence. To arrange the sentence, words into sentence, we can follow these structures. There are various structures of making sentence. First of all, we can follow this one, subject first, then verb, then extension. Second one, so it can be also in li like this way, subject first, then be verb, be verbs are, am, is, are, was, were, then extension, or it can be subject, then be verb, then ing, then extension, or it can be subject first, then do verb, or have verb, or model auxiliary verb, then extension, or it also can be a, in, in imperative sentence, first of all verbs, main verb, then extension, or an imperative sentence also starts with late first, then objective form of this subject, then verb 1, then extension. Or if any requesting sentence for imperative sentence, it can be start by writing please or kindly, then verb 1, then extension. Or if it is our exclamatory sentence, then it can be started by writing what a or n or how, then adjective, then subject, then verb. And finally, you have to give exclamatory sign or if it is interrogative sentence then you can write ws question first then auxiliary verb then subject then verb present form and extension or if it optative sentence then you need to write first may then subject then verb one or extension in this OS we can arrange our words into sentence so let's we can start now apply these rules in our exercise this exercise has been taken from your suggestions. Our first question is, as voyage, read, ship, is, was, in. So this is our random words. These random words we have to arrange into proper way so that it can be meaningful sentence. So first of all, we need to write subject. What is subject? His ship. His ship is our subject, right, is, right here. His ship. This is subject, then write verb. His ship was, this is our be verb. His ship was wrecked, now write verb, past participle form. His ship was wrecked, how? In a sea voyage. So our ship, his ship is subject, is done. Then auxiliary verb, v verb, was, it also done. Then preposition in, and finally, a voyage. And wreck is past participle form of verb. So our sentence now, his ship was wrecked in a sea voyage. Finally, give full stop. So this is our meaningful and accurate sentence. Now, second one, find out the subject first. 11 years, this is our subject right here, 11 years. Then we have here auxiliary verb, have verb, right here, had, 11 years, had, then the extension, verb past participle here, and the last one is by. So 11 years had gone by, okay. Now this is our exclamatory sentence. First of all, write what a, what a funny adjective, what a funny sight, funny sight is adjective, what a funny sight, I subject, would model auxiliary and be, I would be, finally give exclamatory sign, what a funny sight, I would be, okay, next one is telling Omen is ally. So subject is the omen. The omen. Then be verb is the omen is our continuous tense, present continuous. That's why verb should be ing. 
the woman is telling it comes from tell the woman is telling a lie object the woman is telling a lie next one is child real mother she is random words longer sentence but don't worry we have to do it according to the structure first of all find out the subject she subject then right verb we verb she is she is what she is the real mother she is the real mother of what she is the real mother of the living child of the living child so first of all here subject is given here then auxiliary verb be verb and the object is the real mother she is the real mother the real mother of also is given here she is the real mother of of what the living child okay now is our imperative sentence is started by writing let let me go the rules number is here let first then object of subject objective form of subject then verb one it comes from i is objective form of i so let me go after let you can write i you must write here objective form so let me go finally give full stop okay then a trap lion in the was so write first your subject the lion the lion then auxiliary verb be verb is past form the lion was where in a trap the lion was in a trap okay next eight number reshma is a subject here write reshma first reshma is a garment worker where garment worker in dhaka dhaka here dhaka the first letter should be capital as its proper noun so reshma is a garment worker in dhaka nine number it can be done in two ways you can write here first following the book also in the morning she walks to work in the morning she walks to work or you can write she walks to work in the morning okay now 10 number write first subject is our continuous tense i am write the continuous form of go i am going where going on holiday I'm going on holiday when next week next week I am going on holiday next week okay then last June I visit I went to visit you can write here I went to visit my grandmother grandmother last june it also can be done in two ways you can write here last june first last june i went to visit my grandmother full stop or you can write i went to visit my grandmother last june both are correct okay now tell number nature is our subject here nature nature then write be verb in past form nature was our playground nature was our playground finally give full stop okay then write here subject first i verb present form i love i love what i love caring for these animals i love caring for this it should be capital so it should be plural form because it's animals also plural in number i love caring for these animals i love caring for these animals okay is our interrogative sentence right here first w's question 
then write the auxiliary verb what do then write subject what do you think finally give question mark what do you think okay last one is random words coming school during you are this so write as it our interrogative sentence right here first auxiliary verb i mean be verb then subject are you coming are you coming school during this pandemic pandemic finally give question mark are you coming school during this pandemic okay it's done you can apply this various types of structure in your exercise so that the sentence can be meaningful now our class is almost finished now take your hw hw number is 12 write a paragraph about your native village by answering the following questions here are given some clue questions and you, you must answer this question in your paragraph the paragraph topic is your native village first question is what is the name of your village the name of your village should be mentioned in your answer the area of your village it also should be mentioned how many people live in your village should be mentioned what is the main occupation of the villagers what important things are there in your village and how do you feel about your village so the information is here now you can arrange the information into a paragraph finally your paragraph will be complete so this is all about our today's class i hope you have understood our today's discussion you can follow these various kinds of structure to make the word into sentence your sentence should be grammatically accurate you can follow and you can memorize this structure also practice at home and listen to your parents. See you soon with next video. Allah bless.